16.5e rectangle problems, percent of a field. Clearly identify the area of the inside and outside rectangles. Be careful with percents. Is it talking about the small? the large rectangles or is it talking about the frame? You need to make sure that your picture shows clearly and that you understand clearly what it's representing. In example one, we have a man that mows his 40 foot by 50 foot rectangular lawn in a spiral pattern starting from the outside edge. So we have 40 feet over here, and we have 50 feet here. By noon, he is 90% done. How wide of a strip has he cut around the outside edge? Well, he's cut 90%. That's going to be this. That means he has 10% left. So this inner rectangle is going to be 50 minus our 2x and whoops, supposed to be 40 minus 2x. Okay, so that means 10% of our original area, which is the 40 times 50, which would give us 2,000 equals our smaller area, which is the 40 minus the 2x and the 50 minus 2x. Okay, let's expand this out. We're going to get 200 equal to 2000 minus 180x plus 4x squared. Let's get the 200 on the other side. Okay, and that's going to leave us with 0 equal to 1800 minus 180x plus our 4x squared. Okay, this is all divisible by 4, so let's do that and see if we get something that we can factor and put it in order. So we have 0 equal to x squared minus 45x plus 450. This will easily factor as x minus 30 and x minus 15. So that means we get x is equal to 30 and 15. Now if we put 30 back into our like say 50 minus 2 times 30, we get a negative number. So that means 30 is out. And so that means our solution then is that he's cut a 15 foot strip all the way around. Now in our second example, we have a woman that has a 50 foot by 25 foot rectangular field that she wants to increase by 68% by cul cultivating a strip of uniform width around the current field. Okay, so what that means is that it's the smaller rectangle that we're looking at here. That's 25 by 50. Okay, that's supposed to be a 5. Pretend that it looks like that. Okay, we start with 100%. Okay, we want to increase it by 68 cents so we're 68%, so we're going to add 68% on there. So our out di outside dimensions here are going to be 25 plus 2x and 50 plus 2x. Okay, so that means that we have 100 plus 68, which is going to give us 1.68 times our original area 
which was the 25 times 50 equal to our 50 plus 2x times 25 plus 2x. Okay, that means we're going to get 2100 equal to 1250 plus 150x plus 4x squared. Okay, let's get that 2100 over. Okay, so now we have, I'm going to put this in order too, 0 equal to 4x squared plus 150x minus 850. All these are divisible by 2, so let's divide by 2. So we have 0 equals 2x squared plus 75x minus 425. So we're going to throw this in the quadratic formula because um, it will be a little bit hard to factor. So we're going to have negative 75 plus or minus the square root of 75 squared minus 4 times 2 times a negative 425 all over 2 times 2. And so that's going to give us a negative 75 plus or minus 95 all over 4. We're going to totally ignore this negative. We have negative 75 minus 95. We get a negative answer. We're not interested in it. So we'll do the other, which means 20 over 4. So we get x is equal to 5. So what that means is that she's going to cultivate another five feet all the way around.